Hey guys, this is Melody. Welcome to the channel or welcome back if you've been here before. Today we're going to be making a little zine or sketchbook. I actually got this idea from Art Prof, which is a YouTube channel. I'll try to remember to link them in the comments below or have a little card pop up that you can click on now. They're a really good resource for artists right now, especially if you're stuck at home and um, you know, it's kind of a weird time for everybody, but they do a lot of really useful videos where they do critiques or um, sketches and you know, it's it's really cool. So if you are an artist, definitely go check that out. They also have a Discord and stuff so you can chat with other artists. I definitely highly recommend them. So to make this little zine, basically what we're doing is we're folding the paper like you saw. I tried not to speed this up too fast so you could follow along pretty easily. And then you're cutting the middle boxes and folding it so that you end up with a little book. I definitely recommend before you dis decide to make this to think about what media you're going to be using in this because if you want to do watercolor, you're going to want to use watercolor paper. You're not going to want to use regular printer paper. Um, I mean, you can use regular printer paper, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, but trying to do watercolor or even sometimes marker will bleed through, so just give it a little thought what you might be using in this and then from there decide what kind of paper to use. I've kind of been enjoying using tan tone paper. It's not something that I've used too frequently, but I have a really big sketch pad full of it, so I thought that would be a good option. It does seem to hold up fairly well to small amounts of paint. If you try to layer it too much, it does have some problems, but I ended up using marker pastel, um, colored pencil, a little bit of gouache in this, and it seemed to hold up pretty well. So Art Prof challenged people, I think for this month, to make a corn zine, um, basically just filling it up with random things. And so what I decided to do was kind of take on that challenge, but what I did was draw things that I see around in my neighborhood when I go for walks or runs. There are some really cute houses in this area and now that it's spring there's a lot of really pretty flowers blooming and there's some like random apple trees off the street and stuff. So I went out for a walk slash jog the morning that I decided I wanted to make this and I took some reference photos so that I could look at them while drawing. I could have probably drawn outside, but it looked like it was going to rain, so I didn't really want to risk it. Also, I did want to film it, and it's just a lot easier to film this way than filming outside. This first drawing I'm doing is a house that I noticed. Like I said, there's a lot of really cute old houses in this neighborhood. A lot of them are being remodeled and fixed up, and so they're really pretty. So I wanted to draw this. The white gel pen I ended up using to line because the Copic markers I used against this kind of paper end up looking kind of dull. I could have used a black pen or something to line, but I feel like it just wouldn't have popped very well. So I used the white gel pen to really make it pop out of the page. I love the way that white looks on tan tone paper. So I actually really, really like the way that this one turned out. If I'm being honest, I haven't been very inclined to draw recently. I think just because of what's going on right now, it's like I just I can't focus on drawing sometimes. Um, and I finally like working full time at work and stuff. So it's been busy, but it's been a weird time. So this kind of gave me an excuse to sit down and draw. It did take me about two hours to finish this entire thing but it was, it was nice. It's the first time in a while that I've sat down and like actually focused on drawing for more than 30 minutes or so after having finished a big commission probably about a month ago. So the second drawing is a mailbox. There is a mailbox in someone's yard and the yard is so overgrown with like flowers and probably weeds if I'm being honest, but there's so many flowers in that area and the mailbox is just like chilling there. I don't know why, but I really like this mailbox, um, so I took a picture of it and decided to draw it. For this one I used my gouache and then I put some colored pencil over it to add some details. I really enjoy doing colored pencil over watercolor or gouache just to add some texture to it. 
I did a similar thing for this one. So this one, there's like an archway in someone's yard, but it's so overgrown with like this vine plant. I don't know what it is, but I just really like the way that it looks so overgrown, but also the yard is actually really well kept up. So it's just this one little area. To me, it feels like a little fairy tale where you're like walking through this overgrown bush to get somewhere. So it, it appealed to me for some reason. I used Copic markers for that and then put um, color pencil on it like I was saying before. I'm sorry you didn't really see that. Um, somehow I managed to draw off screen. They are just like some little apples that I've noticed in the street. They were not ripe yet, but they're growing. And this is a fence. Just, you know, a normal fence, but I wanted to play with the colors here, so I added some blues and purples and pinks to it, just for fun. And for that, I used oil pastels. So for the cover, I decided to do a stop sign with a street. This actually isn't the street that I was walking on most of the time. They have part of the road closed off, so I kind of took a different route than usual, and I kind of happened upon the street, and I just thought, let's a stop sign, why not? Um, I did this one kind of sloppy, kind of messy. Honestly, this whole thing is a little bit messy, but I wanted it to be kind of exploratory and uh, not too finished looking, I guess. The house is probably the most finished looking, but I just thought the stop sign was kind of a, a good thing to put in the cover because really the whole part of this was that I was stopping and taking in the scenery instead of running past it and ignoring it like I tend to do when I go for runs. Anyway, that is it for this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!